Thank you, President Obama and Mrs. Obama for including me in this very special day. And congratulations to the class of 2020. You have arrived here in the middle of a global crisis, a racial pandemic, and worldwide expression of outrage at the senseless killing of yet another unarmed black human being. And you still made it. We're so proud of you. Thank you for using your collective voice and letting the world know that black lives matter. The killings of George Floyd, Ahmaud Arbery, Breonna Taylor, and so many others have left us all broken. It has left the entire country searching for answers. We've seen that our collective hearts, when put to positive action, could start the wheels of change. Real change has started with you, this new generation of high school and college graduates who we celebrate today. I did not get to experience college like some of you or the campus parties that left you struggling the next day in class, <laughs> although that could have been fun. But my parents did teach me the value of education, how to be authentic in my actions, and how to celebrate individuality and the importance of investing in myself. Dear graduates, please remember to take a little bit of time to give thanks to your family members and the community who's been such a big support system for you. You are achieving things your parents and grandparents never could imagine for themselves. You are the answer to a generation of prayers. Now, some of you might be the first in your family to graduate from college. Maybe you did not follow the path that was expected of you, and you probably questioned everything about your decision. But know that stepping out is the best thing you can do for self-discovery.